This is alliteration. My mother says math is the universal language. Says everybody speaks the 50 years of multiplication tables, understands why numbers are only lawless under certain circumstances. I feel like a sheriff of a town whose gangs are gaslighting me, slipping exceptions in our bar top, slippery with spilled liquor, four digits shift like I'm sick on something 30% alcoholic, and nothing makes sense. In grade school, taught arithmetic as a third point in the holy trinity, punctuated every problem with a promise that the real world operated on addition. Added one abusive teacher, and I started writing smaller because I thought it would make my mistakes less visible. Thought I could live in spaces between my parentheticals, take home from the files. My every semicolon stuck in the slope I thought I would spend my life tripping down. Maybe there was something to be said. For kids who sought shelter and run on sentences. In grade school, they do not teach Arthur's theory of multiple intelligences. I was so sure I could sweep by only ever speaking one language, that it would be enough to be fluent. I could forget about the fact that I couldn't tell right from left without stalling. Right is the one you write with. That's the one who's sludged with pencil lead and aching because the page is insatiable. Instead, I built cities out of the blocks they gave me to learn about decibels, hunger down in the space between the hundreds and the thousands of my instructor's voice chased me down alleyways, strike a match against rough drafts. It was always easier to be creative when you are afraid, and I saw this became the skeletons of worlds and people who understood each other because they had universal translators. No one needed to know the grammar of an equation. I thought I make empires out of novel concepts. No one would notice the incorrectly measured dimensions of a one-way street where the road bends. I thought if I devoured every novel in sight, I could write like the world-weary adults in their castles of YA fiction and dystopia, I thought I learned how to suspend the sound and stop time with my stories that I wouldn't be stupid. Having to count out six to seven on my fingers, it wouldn't matter that I was stranded on a planet that spoke a language everybody was supposed to understand. If the Common Core was a hurricane, I was facing 15 foot waves because maybe I could learn to drown in inspiration instead of mathematics. Instead of wandering through lessons and coming up gasping, I could take in a long full of water and finally show them that I learned to let my head sink underwater. 